Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about the trace viewer. So let's begin. Trace viewer is basically a UI tool which helps you to explore the recorded playwright traces after the execution of your screen. Here we need to understand what is playwright traces. So basically the playwright trace is a file that records all of the actions that your code takes when it interacts with a web page. So when your script is interacting with your page, so it would be like opening the page, clicking on the elements, filling out the forms and making the network request. So it will capture all this information for you and after the execution of your test script, you can view this information. Now why we need a playwright trace viewer? So basically to understand how your code is executing. The second one is basically when your test is failing, it will help you to debug your test script. So now let's uh, open the Visual Studio Code and see it practically how the Playwright Test Viewer works. In Visual Studio Code, go to your playwright.config.js file. You will find this here. Just open this file here. And here uh, we need to find a trace here. So scroll down here. And yes, you will find a trace here. And its value is on first rewrite, which means that the trace will be recorded on the first retry and if you want to learn more about the trace so here the link is available open this link here and if you go down here you will see a different options available so it will provide the, the you know the actions snapshot action log source code location network log all things will be available in this way okay so on the first retry, it will work. So on locally, if we want to generate a trace, so what we'll need to do is that we need to provide, so we need to provide dash dash trace flag equals to on, which means that when we execute our test, we need to provide this one and it will trace, record the trace for this particular test. So now let me go to a particular test here and let me open any of my previous test here and what i'll do is that i will intentionally fail this one so let me change this to leave two here and now let's run this particular test so np sorry so npx playwright test dash g name of the test and the name of the test is filtering locators so let me copy this one from here and paste it here so sorry let me type it again so playwright test minus g uh, inside the course we need to provide the name of the test and I need to run in the headed mode and also dash dash trace on. So now let me run this one. And uh, but before that, we need to save this one. So let me close this one again. And here, let me save the file. So let me go back here and let me save this test here. And now let me run this one and using the same command so let's run this one so it, it, what will happen is that it will go to orange HRM website here it will provide the username it will provide the password it will log in and it will try to click on this leave button on the left side under the pim so the locator is uh, not correct so it will fail and once it will fail it will try and after trying it will you know generate the trace for this one and we will see in the report which will be generated automatically once it will be failed so you uh, saw that uh, you know the particular report has been generated and it says that this particular line got failed and if we scroll down here you will see that we got the trace for this one so there are two options here one you can directly click on this one or you can download from here so first let me click on this one here so it will you know open the trace viewer ui so this is the complete ui this is a timeline 
and it will show how your test was progressing throughout the execution at what second what was the state of your application then here you will see your test steps and which is basically the actions then the metadata at that particular step then what happened before your action and what happened you know after your action so you get all the information here and similarly as we scroll here you will see that we are getting some information regarding this particular call what was the locator what was the value and the log of this particular step then if we go to the console here so we get the console details here what was happened then the network calls happened during this test here then we have a source so we click on the source so you see that it's uh, showing us the exact step where it got failed so we are getting a lot of information here and see the target close locator dot click so here it was unable to locate this element and that's why our test got failed so this trace viewer is really helpful in debugging your scripts when it got failed so we actually executed this locally and if you are working on the ci side so what you need to do is that so basically if i go back to the playwright.config.js so here is the configuration in terms of let me go let me open this again let me close this one and let me open this again and if we scroll down a bit here you will see that here is a configuration for the ci side right so after one retry or two retries it will you know generate the trace and you know if we go back to the report itself and if i go back to the report itself so this is a report and here we have an other option called uh, you know in order to download this file so click on this file your file will get downloaded so later on if you want to open this file you can open this file so how you can open uh, this file later on so that's really simple so simply what you need to do is that you need to type trace dot playwright dot dev so it will open an interface and here you need to drop your file so simply uh, let me drop this file from here to here and it will again you know open your trace file here and you can easily debug or optimize your test even you can see what is happening exactly uh, during your execution so now let me go back to the video studio code here and inside the test results you will find uh, this trace file okay and this is the uh, one way of uh, doing it now other way is that uh, if you have a multiple test in a single file and you want to trace a particular test so you can do it uh, programmatically and using the code so for this one i'm going to this example dot aspect dot yes you must have this file so you see that it has a multiple test test one and this test two and now i want to trace this test two let me change the value here so that it should fail and let me save this one and now here simply what i will do is that i will provide context and then we need to start our trace so simply await context dot tracing dot start and inside this we need to provide the options we have a different options but we need we need a screenshot we need uh, we need a snapshot so whatever we need we will provide here so we will provide both screenshots and snapshots here so simply in the curly braces we need to provide you know screenshots and screenshots colon should be true and the second is the snapshots dot colon equals to true and uh, this is the the start and the end would be at the end of this particular test so again uh, await then context broad tracing dot stop and here we need to provide the path of the file 
so once it will stop it should generate a file and i'm naming um so we need to provide a path then path colon the name of the file so i'm naming it as tracing dot zip file and that's it and now let's run this test and see what happens here but before that we are doing it using the code so what i need to do is that i need to go to this playwright.config.js and here let me change the value from ci in terms of the retries so here you see that retries are doing through the ci process so what i'll do is that i'll simply comment this line here and here i will type retries and the value should be one here okay and then comma so save this file and now run this example and this time we will be executing this particular uh, you know file here so here control c terminate this one and simply npx playwright test and we will give the name of the file which is example dot spec dot js dash headed and this time you see that we are not providing dash dash trace equals to on so simply uh, we because we have uh, explicitly mentioned in our code so it will go to this website will uh, you know uh, do a retries and here it will uh, you know uh, retry manually you see that it's open again but when you are doing trace trace uh, on without uh, providing into the code it will actually generate that uh, trace automatically now the execution has been done our test got failed so just click on this one here and here you see that uh, it got tried for one time so first execution and it didn't find this pattern here so there was a session placed in so it got failed here and then in the retry section so again it retried and here it generated the trace here so if i click on this one so it will provide all the information regarding this particular step so what exactly happened what was the timeline so before and after and this uh, particular playwright is very really good because it has a pick locator so you might be having a problem with the locator so here you can uh, work with the locators as well and you can copy the locator from here and that's very very helpful when you are debugging the scripts when your scripts are failing so that will be really helpful in this terms now if i go back here and what i'll do is that so let me go back here and if i go to just to code here and even if i don't write a specific code here so let me remove this code from here and this line of the code as well because it was doing using the code and i'm removing this one so now still it will generate the trace because in the playwright config.js we have mentioned that after one retry so here you see that on the first retry generate the test and how many retries we have defined one so it will generate a trace as well so see uh, let's run this and see either it's generating a trace again here or not so simply run this again and see what happens with this particular test so again uh, it will execute and see what happens and again this time it should got failed it's retrying for the first time and here it will not be able to find this one and your test will be failed and again you see that our test got failed and if i go to this retry here and just click on retry and here you will find the trace again here so either you provide uh, by the code so but using the code what is the difference uh, you know by providing the code or not having the code so having the code will specify the block of the code here so in my example here what i did is that in this particular file i want to 
have a trace this particular test. You might have a multi-pass test in the file and you don't want to trace the whole, you know, whole file, right? So it will obviously decrease the efficiency. So what you will do is that you can do it programmatically and using the code, you can specify the block of code from where you start the tracing and where you'll be closing the trace. And uh, besides that, if you want to learn more about the traces, so just go to the official website here and here you will find all the information uh, in terms of using the trace and uh, let me sh show you one more thing uh, uh, here in terms of uh, these things so in this folder again this file exists so if you go here and go to you know file explorer you will find this file here as well so you see that so under the test results example dash get started link in the chromium try one under this we have this trace file so now if i go back to the official documentation here so this is the official documentation here and here uh, they provide all the details like action snapshot action log. we have already seen this one we have a source code we have a network logs okay we have a meta tags so we have covered uh, pretty much all of these things here but still if you want to learn more about this one just go to this official website and you will find all the documentation in terms of using the playwright trace viewer so in the last i, I want to tell one more thing uh, regarding the trace viewer so if i go to the visual studio code here and if i go to this playwright.config.js here you see that i have provided an option called on first retry this is a standard and i think you should go with this one but still if you want to change this one and you want to know what are the other available options so simply again go back to the website here and here you will see that you have a different options so on first retry record a trace only when retrying a test for the first time on all retries record traces for all the test retries off if you do not want to record a trace on record a trace for each test which is not recommended as it's a performance heavy and again return on the failure record a trace for each test but remove it from the successful test runs so these are the options available and using these options you can utilize the trace viewer and debug optimize your code efficiently thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial